Hello? Hi, I was looking for Blake. This is he? Hi, Blake. My name is Sage Willowbrook, and I just got off the phone with your boss, Tony. He said that you were going to be my limo driver this Friday. Oh, okay. Uh, great. Nice to, nice to meet you, Sage. Well, it's nice to meet you, too. He gave me your phone number so I could go over some of the particular details. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, sure, whatever, whatever you need. So willing. I like that. Uh, I just want to let you know that I'm going to be the only one you're driving that night. It's just going to be me. Okay, uh, well, if it's just you, I mean, I'd probably recommend a smaller limousine. These typically hold, you know, 10 to 12 people. Oh, no, no. Thank you, though. I definitely need all that space. I plan on utilizing every inch that's given to me. <laughs> Waste not, want not. Waste not, want not. <laughs> uh, okay. I just love limos, don't you? Yeah, they're they're great. Limos are my second favorite long car. My first favorite is a hearse. Uh, I just love their sleek lines and the way they handle, don't you? I've never driven a hearse before. Silly, you don't have to drive one to appreciate one. <laughs> Anyway, I wanted to ask you about beverages that could be available on my limo ride. We offer soda and water, alcohol. Rubbing alcohol? Uh, no, drinking alcohol. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like I'll have to bring my own then. That's fine. I have a lot. You're going to bring your own rubbing alcohol? I was just thinking out loud. Don't worry about that. Oh, okay. One more question. It's about the privacy window? Yeah. You know, the one that's located right behind your head? What about the privacy window? Well, if I open it from my side when you're not looking, is that going to be a problem? What do you mean? You're going to open the window when I'm driving? Well, I was just wondering if you'd mind if I rolled the window down from time to time. and Well, I thought maybe we could play a game of peekaboo. Look yeah, I mean, I do mind. I, I'm a driver. You know, I like to stick, you know, keep concentrated on the road. I, I, I don't fool around. I'm very professional. And I don't even know where I'm driving you. Oh, well, I'm sorry we hadn't gotten to that point yet. You're taking me to the forest. What? Yes, that's right. I told your boss that I would pay you double if we took a longer trip to the countryside, and he said that would be no problem. I'm not dropping you off in the forest. That's funny, dropping you off. I haven't dropped off anyone in a long time. Maybe I will drop you off. I don't care <laughs> what you want or how much you paid. I'm, I'm not doing oh, oh no, I hope you're not fighting this. I don't know what your deal is. Tony set you up for this phone call. No <laughs> I know you got my number from Tony. Yeah, it's a prank phone call. It's a joke. Your boss Tony set you up. What are you talking about? He told me he wanted to play a joke on you by giving you the creepiest customer ever. What? <laughs> I hope that I accomplish that goal. Tony. <laughs> I agree. He sounds naughty. We should punish him together. You and I. Would you like to? Uh, <laughs> punish? <laughs> no, man. Stay away from me, psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Compliments will get you everywhere. <laughs> That's not cool. That is so not cool.